All right. Hey, this is Jeremy, and this is today's Five for Five. So I was reading a parable today from the first part of Matthew chapter 20, and I'm going to be honest with you. This parable bothered me a little bit, and I want to see if it bothers you too. In this parable, Jesus is telling a story, an illustration about a truth from the kingdom of heaven. Now, it's about workers in a vineyard. There was an owner of a vineyard, and he goes out about 9 o'clock in the morning, and he finds some people who agree to work for him that whole day, and they would make a normal day's wage, which would have been about a denarius. Then the owner goes back out and finds people at 12 o'clock and at 3 o'clock, and he says, I will pay you whatever is right. Then, toward the end of the day, with only about an hour of work left, the owner goes out at 5 o'clock and he gets even more workers and has them come and work in his vineyard. So, evening comes and the owner lines up all the people to get paid. Well, the people who are first in line are the people who started working at 5 o'clock. They only worked for one hour. And then the people who have been working all day in the burning heat since 9 a.m., they're in the back. Well, the people in the front who've only worked an hour, they reach out their hand and they get one denarius. Wow, it's pretty good. If you're standing in the back, these guys are thinking, okay, we're going to get a lot. <laughs> if those guys for one hour got one denarius, can you imagine what we're going to get? We worked all day. Well, the guys in the back of the line who've been working since 9 a.m., they show up to the front and guess what? They get one denarius. That's it. The same as the guys who had only worked one hour. And they're thinking, are you serious? Come on, we've been working all day in this heat. And the owner says, what business is it of yours of what I'm paying to whom? Are you jealous because of my generosity, what I'm doing with my money, my stuff? Well, of course, when you think about the kingdom of heaven, you're like, okay, I, I get it. I get the parable. There's going to be people who believed in Jesus their whole life. And they've sacrificed their life to living for the Lord. And there's going to be people who believe in Jesus right at the last second, right before they die. They're going to give their lives to Jesus. And we're all going to get the reward of heaven together. Okay, I get it. But still, <laughs> when you read the parable, you can kind of sense how unfair it seemed that the guys who've been working all day got paid the same as the guys who only worked one hour. Come on. Why does this parable bother me? I think it's because my attitude is not the same as Jesus. See, Jesus in Philippians 2, we read from Philippians 2, verse 5 to verse 11, that Jesus, he's the one whose attitude we should share. Paul writes that Jesus didn't take his equality with God as something to take advantage of here on earth. I mean, he deserved to come down here to earth and for everybody to bow down and worship him and make him king. But instead... He lived his life as a servant among a bunch of sinful people who didn't deserve him. He gave up his life all the way to the cross, a death he did not deserve. Why? Because he loves God and he loves you and me. Wow. Well, what do I deserve in this life? Well, from Romans 6, 23, Paul writes, for the wages of sin is death. That's what you and I deserve. Because of our sin, we deserve to die and be separated from God forever. But the verse goes on. But the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. I get eternal life forever and ever. I don't deserve that. That's God's grace. What happens, and this is where I get a bad attitude, is I forget. And when I forget about all that God's given me, I become ungrateful. Not only that, when I compare myself to other people, I become ungrateful. I see what other people have and I think, oh, I deserve that. And they don't deserve that. They've not worked as hard as I have. Oh, why don't I have this? What am I doing? It's up to God who gets what. He's already given me more than I deserve. So I need to live life as much as he's given me. I need to live it like I don't deserve it at all. And that will make me grateful. I can't wait to see what God has in store for all of us who believe in him. It's nothing to complain about. It's only something to be so excited and so grateful about. I hope this helped you today, and I hope you have a great day. See ya.